I'm Tom Seyfried, professor of biology at Boston College here in Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts. Um, I've been a professor here since 1985. So uh, before that, I was at Yale working on epilepsy and glycolipid biochemistry. Right now, our big concern is trying to drop uh, the death rate from cancer, which is an epidemic out of control. And um, what we see from the American Cancer Society, every year they come out with their uh, update on progress in, in cancer management for all the different major forms of cancers, young people, old people, males, females, all these kinds of things. And what we see every year is more, more people dying from cancer. Um, and uh, the latest, in 2024, which will be this year, they're estimating almost 612,000 people this year will die from cancer, um, which comes to about almost 1,700 people a day, which then comes to about 70 people an hour. Um, and, and statements that we hear uh, on media saying about the wonderful advances that we're making in dropping cancer death rates does not seem to be linked to the reality of, of, of what's going on. So people have to sit back and say, uh, why are we having so many people die from cancer when we're spending so many hundreds of millions of dollars through the federal governments, the National Cancer Institute, all the private foundations, the Susan Coleman Run for Breast Cancer, Lung Cancers, Colon Cancer Societies, Brain Cancer Societies. People, people use their good intentions and in nature to go out and help raise money for these foundations and no one ever asks where the money goes or why we have no drop in death rates or these kinds of things. And um, I think it's time that we now have to start to seriously question uh, why there is no major progress. In the case of brain cancer, we haven't made any in glioblasto in 100 years, no, no major advances. Um, so it, it becomes a real issue. And uh, um, I think most people would be interested to know why we are not making any major advances. And in, this, in these conversations, we'll go into the depths of discussing exactly why there are no major advances. Um, despite the media attention to say what we're doing is working, it's not working. And it comes to the kinds of theories that are responsible, how we view cancer as a disease. What is the theory, the scientific theory that drives the research and the clinical practice? And if the theory is not correct, we will not see any major advance and it's only going to get worse.